The exhibition really gives an, a unique opportunity because there is no other place that you can do this in the UK to see Spanish art from the beginnings, I suppose you could say, right up until the 20th century. It's a journey for visitors through time and throughout the world because as a consequence of the uh, Spanish colonization of Latin America and the Philippines and other territories, the culture originated in Spain as spread out throughout the world and got mixed with other native cultures. And the result of this is these amazing objects that uh, you will discover throughout this exhibition. The exhibition is an examination of the masterpieces really held by the Hispanic Society uh, Museum and Library in New York, founded by Archer M. Huntington. Starting with the Bell Beaker culture, running through the Islamic period when Spain was known as Al Andalus. If you look carefully to the Baptismal font in one of the first galleries, it's quite a perfect example of the cohabitation of many cultures and religions in Spain at the time. It's of course an object of the Catholic faith, but it has some Islamic motives and influences in it. Then, throughout the galleries, the journey will continue from medieval uh, Spain, then to the Golden Age. There are some very prized works that Huntington himself was very keen to uh, have represent in his collection, but also as jewels in the collection, I suppose you could say. Great painters like Velázquez, like Zubaran, El Greco, Goya, in particular, he was very fascinated by. Every museum has uh, its Mona Lisa. Our Mona Lisa at the Hispanic Society is the Duchess of Alba by Goya. It's a full-length portrait of a very strong and clearly opinionated woman, uh, the Duchess of Alba, who posed for Goya uh, in 1797 as they were spending a summer together in southern Spain. She is quite assertive in her pose, pointing uh, to the floor when one can read the inscription Solo Goya, Only Goya, probably meaning that Only Goya was allowed or capable to paint her portrait, perhaps also a reference to a possible love affair between the painter and the Duchess. The exhibition has a sequence of galleries that look at what happened after the discovery, or the rediscovery, I should say, of the American continent and the impact that Spanish colonization had on that area, and in fact the impact that that had on Spain itself, particularly through the wealth that it accumulated through its American colonies. While the colonization had so often and, and so many times dramatic consequences to the people, it resulted in the melting and mixing of influences, patterns, religion, beliefs, uh, ending up with these magnificent and most peculiar objects. There are some very important maps in the colonial art section. And these maps are really interesting because they're very early. 1526 Vespucci's map of the world really is only outlining the American continent. So much of it remains yet to be explored. But even still, interestingly, the capital city of the Aztecs is marked on that map. In contrast to that European sensibility of what a map should be and what it should do is an indigenous map which shows you how the indigenous communities looked at the world and how they traced history and geography through the same process.
We also have a single caster painting from what would have been a series of 16, and these really look at the way that the Spanish segregated society based on the colour of your skin and the purity of your blood. This was something of great concern to the Spaniards. The exhibition terminates really with uh, Huntington's great interest and patronage of the uh, Spanish artist Sorolla, who he collected and exhibited in New York. Sorolla was a sort of Spanish Impressionist. Uh, he was actually a pioneer ahead of his time with his use of photography, instrumental in his way of processing and composing his painting. You will look at the painting and they will remind you of photographic angles because he used a lot of this uh, new technology at the time. I believe this exhibition is very much about horizon and I hope that the show to many visitors will enlarge their horizon, will invite them to take up a journey, a real journey, not only through the exhibition but through the Spanish-speaking world. It's an amazing multitude of countries and cultures and communities. You'll be probably taken aback by the strength and the depth of the collection. And the Hispanic Society collection is unique in that sense because outside of Spain, you can't see that history anywhere else. <laughs>